sa loob ng kapilya niya ang pintuan papasok sa sapat. Sigurado ba kayong sinanay niyang tatlong bata para magtagumpay? Sigurado kung sinanay ko silang manatiling buhay. Kadena o kamatayan? I wasn't born in Agros. Uh, I was born in Manila. And I've been a Manila boy until high school. Pero my mother was a Lusuriaga, which is from Negros, Gidja, uh, in Ilog and in, and in Bacolod. And we used to come here every summer. If, if you see uh, my movie Sonata, that was like how I was growing up in, in, among the Tubu and in the farm. So I've, I've always had a, a thing for Negros. Uh, however, when we when I hit college, we moved to Negros permanently. Mayabang ako and snobbish, and I hated saying oh, we're going to start studying in La Salle Bacolod instead of La Salle Manila. I, I was ashamed to have been brought to to Negros. What I love about theater is you have this long period to put the action together and so you're working on it and as it work as you work on it you start adding little things and you start putting off taking off little things and when we're rehearsing by the third week they have the complete costume complete props so their costumes are, are not just hanging on them it, they, they use it I, I love that I love that I, I love living the thing and what happens is as we keep rehearsing, they start getting bored with their first approach, and so they start to play. And after all, that's what a play is. No? So it, it was really great for me. I love that part of, of theater. When I went back to Negros, I started doing it slowly, uh, scientifically, and really learning. And my co-teacher was Leo Martinez we knew each other from advertising and what happened was that Silani Loris Guillen and Johnny Delgado decided they opened the Actors Workshop Foundation that they were going to teach people how to act through workshops and the first two teachers they got were not working out so Leo said, you know what, get back here, he, he does good workshops. So they called me in, I did one workshop, it was very, very successful. With, with movies naman, the, it's the opposite, it's time again. What you want to do is capture that moment of time that's real, that moment of time that's the truth, and you work on it right there to prepare the actor to become loose enough to be able to capture that little moment of time. And then the, those little pieces you put together, like Bogdanovich says, it just put the things together and it makes a whole story. So it's a, it's a different process. Uh, it's a different creative process that's taking place. And I love both. In effect, it has always been my desire as wanting to be the next Mars Ravelo is I want the audience to be aware that people are not so scared of Mananangals anymore now because we live in the cities. And uh, I can imagine a Tianak being placed in a condominium, which would be wonderful. Uh, but I want, I, I want the Pinoys to understand the culture that they come from, the agricultural background that they came from, why night is so scary, because when you're alone in the middle of the fields where there is no electricity, the nighttime is palpable, it enters the window, you know, except when you're using a kinke, it's only this small. Um, people don't feel that anymore. Um, also the idea of magic, I want the magic uh, and, and, and the fantasy to be Pinoy, not to be a Walt Disney rip-off 
which is what happens with uh, Regal Films or with um, Star Cinema Films. When we did Magic Temple and Magic Kingdom, uh, we brought in a production designer from the States for Magic Kingdom. We said, we don't want any, 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 any uh, sources coming from European or Walt Disney or anything. We have to create our own look, which has to be Pinoy. However, after three or four months studying and living the Bacolod way, I said, wait a minute. Yung taga Bacolod, um, I am from here. I, this, this is where, it, this is my place. So I said, uh, I'll, I'll do whatever I want, but in the future, I'll end up in, in, in Bacolod. There was a time in the 70s and the 80s and early 90s that the actors here were better than the actors in Manila. I can say that with pride 